Hi everybody, it's Keith with Bob CNC here today with my long-suffering best friend Robert. And I'm here today with Sir Keith. <laughs> Sir. Well that was, yeah. I don't know where they came from. I don't know either. I okay. just decided just, to say it. Yeah. Okay. I was reading about, no, no, no. Actually I saw a really good video. You did. On, on the benefits of having a knighthood in Britain. You, know, you get to be called Sir. Okay. And that's about it. Okay. Sir okay? Keith. Yeah. And I haven't even been knighted. I can knight you. <laughs> no, she want to smack me with something <laughs> heavy. But yeah, okay. But anyway, what we want to uh, do today is we want to begin a series of uh, shop talks yeah. dealing with getting started issues as you've got your machine yeah. put together. Actually, just showing people uh, all the software set up. So you got your yes. machine, you put it together, plug it in, it locks up, and now what? Yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of, uh, or not a lot, but some installation of some drivers and the software just to get it started so your machine can move around like it's supposed to. Now Bob talks about like this, like, well, there's nothing. But if you are like me, technically challenged, uh, you know, installing programs is not something that you're really crazy about doing. I like toasters. You plug them in, you drop the bread in, you hit the button, boom, you know. Because you got to adjust it to the right, you know. Brownness. Yeah, but 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 that's that's intuitive. There's to me. Oh, well, anyway. Okay. So what we just want to walk you through the steps of Sir how Toast. to. That's your new name, Sir Toast. About <laughs> yeah, as smart as a piece of toast. But anyway, if you go to the website, the very first thing you're going to want to install because we have an Arduino-based machine right. is an Arduino driver. Yes. And we have all the information you need on the website. Uh, if bobcnc.com. If you go to the search button at the top right there, uh, you can type in Arduino. So this is the actual part of the controller that's the, the called the Arduino or the Uno. Uh, it's actually a Keys brand, but it is the Uno. It's got the Atmel chip. So he's typing in that because he's written an article on, on how, how to, to install this. The driver. So then if you click on that, and I'm not doing this because I want you to necessarily read the article, though it will give you all the information you need. That we're going to talk about. It gives me a place to start. Good. And the very first thing we want to do is we want to go to Arduino's website. I've got my mouse on a link right there. There you, you go. You got it? Yeah. I'm clicking it. And there we are. We're in Arduino land. Yeah. So the Arduino is a cool program interface that allows you to program the Arduino to do things like run a CNC machine, turn on your lights, turn off your lights on your house. Yep. Uh, people get, have made music players with them. Robots. Pretty, yeah, robots are really popular, yep. right? So we are using it to run a CNC machine. We have the firmware that Sunny is the lead developer on. It's called Gerbil, uh, and that's what we run it. It's already pre-installed on there for you, okay? Although you can install it again. However, you got to get this controller to talk to your computer via serial port. So while you can, you're going to download the whole IDE so you have the capability of programming it, you do not, do not need IDE. to. IDE. Well, I, you know, I think people like me go, IDE, what the heck, you know. It's a... Integrated development environment. Yeah. Pretty good, right? Yeah. I have no idea what that is. Well, it's basically a place where you can type in code, C right. code. Right, and then you download it to the... the so the guys that are really good at this kind of stuff. Yeah, like Sonny. Yeah. yeah, they write programs for it. But guys like us, we don't have to worry about that. What no. you need to do is go to the software link at the top of the page, Yep. drop down to downloads, and click it. And once you've gotten down to the download play page, because I'm working with a Windows-based machine, I'm going to this top selection that says Windows Installer for Windows 7 and up, and I'm clicking on it. Yeah, it, the reason you don't want to do the Windows app is because we're actually looking for the serial driver. So that's the one that you're going to want to do. Okay. And then it's going to take you to the downloads page. Right. And you're going to be given the opportunity to support the Arduino development. And if you want to, you can. You can. And if you don't, that's totally okay. Just click just download, which I'm doing right there. And you'll notice at the bottom of my screen on the... Uh, monitor behind me on the uh, what is it left hand lower corner it is yep. already downloading yes so now all you have to do is wait is, for it to download yes wait for 
And it's a pretty, it's actually a pretty big file, so it may take a little bit, especially if you have a slower connection, because again, you're getting the whole programming interface. What we really need is just a few files on there to connect our serial port so that we can connect. So we're just going to let it download, and then we can go to the downloads folder, which will is where it's going to be for most of you folks in Windows. And, and so you're going to the bottom of the screen, and you're looking for the little thing that looks like a folder. Right. Right? Yeah. It's good for guys like me. Yeah. Because I think there's folders So let's folders open there. up the downloads so I'm folder. Click it. Oh, okay. Look at that. And then I go up here. It says downloads. I click that a couple times. And I look at the top. And I have Arduino 118. Uh, I have downloaded Arduino a number of times for different things. Yeah, Sometimes keep on, because keep on I, writing blogs. Well, you get that, and I have memory problems. Okay, so you just download it again every day, <laughs> something like that. Well, the but nice I, thing is, is most <laughs> of our customers only have to do this once. Yes. Okay. Yes, they should. Yeah. Unless you're like me. Okay. And then all you want to do is click on it, which I'm doing. It's going. Did you hear that chime? I heard the chime oh, this time. Oh, you did. He, he's, it was like a miracle. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't well, normally okay. hear those chimes. Okay. But anyway. Uh, it'll ask you a question. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? For guys like me, that's like, no, I don't want this thing to mess with my device. Yeah. Yes, you do, because yeah. otherwise it won't download. So you simply click yes. Put your faith in God and click yes. There you go. Okay. And uh, it now on my screen it's saying, well, it's currently installed. Yeah. Not head. You you won't get that probably. You won't unless you're like Keith and have installed it several times. Yeah. So just go ahead and hit yes. <laughs> <laughs> and next and install and you yes. know just follow those prompts on the screen there's going to be one section here where uh, it's asking you it has check boxes on there you yes. want to make sure they're all checked right. especially the serial driver okay oh it's uninstalling a previous install oh so because it won't even let you install it more well than that's because I'm not you know, that's because the folks at Arduino have dealt, are with, smarter people, than me. dealt with people like you, you before he's going to install it again. So, Guys, it, the point is, the steps are really simple. Yeah. And if you get lost, you can also download and print off how to install the Arduino driver. Yeah. And you really can't do it wrong. Uh, it's going to take you to the uh, license agreement, which you are going yeah. to agree to. Here's the page I was talking about. Now that it's uninstalled and now it's reinstalling. There's no... It hurts, Bob, but it's so true. Simply click Next, click Install, and now we just got to wait for the blue bar. And you can watch which the is blue my bar. favorite. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I've, I've seen, seen this episode before. Yeah. <laughs> when I, I come think in, I know how this ends. Yeah, when I come into work, that's what you're doing. But watching the blue bar. Well, again. It, you know, it could always be different. Yeah, but it, no, it, it's no, always, it's the, always blue bar. the same. Yeah. Have well, you like? Do you do a time study to see if it's the same time? I could. Time? Yeah. Don't ever do a time study on me, Bob. Okay. It will be depressing. Anyway, after you wait for a little bit, it'll take a little bit to install. Yes. What's the next step? I have no idea. Really? Yes. You've done it so many times. <laughs> oh, that's right. We have to we make sure we actually did See it. if it works. Yeah. Yes. So what's going to happen after it installs, as soon as you plug in your CNC, it is actually going to install the drivers automatically. Right. Where's so, it going to install the drivers? It's going to install them in the uh, Windows directory, but you don't need to know right. that. But we can look at and make sure that it's installed using the device manager. Now, I have completed the install, so I can close the yeah. uh, doohickey. So the next step is, is that's going to be our uh, CNC right here, even though it's just a controller. Uh, so you're going to want to go you ahead You have the and same hookup. You've got your USB connection, and you're simply going to take your cable, and you're going to hook it up to your computer. You should, uh, should hear a beep. Well, I don't hear beeps. You heard the other one. Let's well, listen. that was a mirror. Oh, I did hear it. You know why you're hearing it? Yeah, because it's, it's amplified. Yeah, on the TV. On the TV. All right. I'm so lucky. So now, if you would go down here in your Windows and type in Device Manager here, uh, it will bring up a program I'll that's that. uh, taking D -E -D -I -C -E care of all your devices. E manager. You can see right here, Device Manager Control Panel. I'm clicking panel. it. Click. And there I am. I'm now looking for ports. Ports. And then it'll be a parenthesis. It'll say COM and, and LPT. And these are alphabetical. Yes, they are. That helps Very guys. Good. Like, you like that? So P is after uh, N. <laughs> it is, man. As so long as I'm in a kit. If you yeah. click on that, you'll see that his COM port 
is four. It's and that's Copper something four. you're going to remember. Yeah, you have to remember this because when uh, we install the software to USB? connect the machine, yes. you need to know what COM ports it's on. Right. Now, I want to explain a little bit on COM ports. If he was to take this USB and plug it into a different USB on his computer because he's got six or seven of them, it would still say COM port four. Yeah. Right? The only way that you're going to get a different COM port is if you have a different controller right. and you plug it in and it would probably go to COM port 5. Windows automatically gives the next number to the next COM port. So it's, it's basically got a little sign-in device there right. and it knows what COM port it is and it, it will always be on that COM port. It's nothing that I really have to be concerned about. Nope. When we get, we can talk about this more when we get into USB and you'll see where that COM port information is important. Yep. You just got to remember that it says uh, Arduino Uno COM port 4 and if you have a, a Windows machine and you've already plugged it in it may say serial uh, device until you COM port 4 that is the new Windows that has an Arduino serial drive if you have that one you don't even need to do the Arduino one really yeah I did all this for nothing well for people well, that actually, don't no, have I did Windows it for team. you oh wasn't that sweet yeah yeah okay not for me till next for time you. guys yeah.